The next task uh, requires us to work on a flyer. So if we look at the exam paper, we're almost at the end now. They want us to converse an image called flyer. So currently it's an as a JPEG, so it needs to be a PNG and it needs to be less than 450, 440, 450, 450 kilobytes. And then it needs to be inserted somewhere. It needs to be inserted on any page of your choice. So let's find that uh, document. We need to decide where we're going to put it. So my, my home page is pretty full. Music page is full. I could put it in the DJ or I could put it in the merchandise. So that's really up to me. Um, so for now, I might just put it in the merchandise because I have a feeling the flyer might be more suitable for that. But we won't know until we have it open. And since we need to convert it, we're going to open Photoshop. Go to open, find the flyer. So in your images folder, go down and look for it. There it is, flyer. Press open. You'll see that it is padlocked, so it's uh, locked at the moment. So you press OK, make sure it is unlocked. Let's have a little read for you to find out what this is about. So it says the pop-up record store, got the name of the company, the logo, featuring local DJs, huge range of vinyls, CDs and cassettes, music, merchandise, trading your old records, record players and tape decks. Three days only, date and, a, and, a, and, a, and an address. So it's a, it's basic information about who they are, where, they go, what, where they'll be and what they will sell. Now it's up to me knowing that information where I think that will be best suited. And I think it would be better to have that in merchandise because it's talk about selling, isn't it? If we have to move it later, then we can move it later. But between the two, I think DJ is specific to do with DJs, whereas merchandise is anything that sell and it's talking about what they sell. So I'm gonna throw it into one of these areas here. And you'll notice that it's quite a tall image. Um, there it is. It's quite a tall image. So first things first, let's convert it. So you go to File, uh, we're going to go to Save for Web Devices. Remember we want it to be a PNG and less than 450. So up here, PNG, you can see it's quite a large image. PNG, and you can see it says 982, so still quite large. So we have to reduce the percentage. So play around with this. So perhaps 50%. And press Enter and you'll see that it's at 297 I'm happy with that so we'll press save we're going to throw into the same folder give it a second don't need this anymore push this down and we're going to need some space to actually have this quite um, to, to fit in better really so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these up so I'm going to split this cell and I'm going to have two columns instead same thing here Oop. Not that, sorry, undo. Let's do that again. Split two columns, yes. Split two columns, yes. And let's do this one as well. Yep. And I'm going to merge uh, an area here. So I reckon I'm going to need all of this. So I'm going to select these, table, merge. It gives me a nice little area there to work with. Um, I'm going to look at the web page as a preview. Just want to see if this is actually the right, you know, the best size for it, or can I actually afford to make it larger? So it looks like it can make this a little bit larger. So what I might do is increase this a little bit, find out what that space is, and then change the size of the flyer to fit into that as well. So going back, push this down. And let's drag this out a little bit more. Save and give this a little test. Nope, not there yet. Let's try that again. A little bit more, there we go. Save, preview, F11. I'm quite happy with that. We may need to move this again later on just to make sure they're all consistent, but for now, that's a decent size. So push this down and come back in. Now, this width is 309. So what I'm going to do is have a look at this image and just throw it in there, basically. So just remember this is 309. Let's go to Insert, Image, Find, 
your images, find the flyer that you just created. Okay, just gonna click on that and see if this is the correct one. This is PNG right here, you can see it's less than 450 kilobyte allowance. And yes, we'll, press, we'll say yes to that, we'll save it there as well. We're gonna call this flyer, press OK. Let's go in there, and you'll see it's really, really large. So we're going to change this to three five five. Click away, and you'll see it's come back in again, and it's still a little bit large, isn't it? We can't have this space here, so I'm going to come undo that again, and don't be afraid to play around with it. Don't be afraid to. Um, Change the numbers as you see fit, undo things if you have to until you get the, the right number. So it's 309 actually, that's uh, my mistake. So let's do that again. Insert image. Find it again. Flyer PNG. Yep, that's perfect. Yes. Yes. That's fine. Flyer, press OK. Let's make this 309. Now, 309 in there let's enter let's make sure that this is the right width yes it is but it's squashed isn't it it's not the right proportion so I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so I can see it better Oop, zoom out not zoom in there we go and I want to drag this in and you'll see that this is very very um, squashed because it's been pushed all the way down so I'm going to drag this up to about there and see how that looks. Now, it's still a little squash, so I don't want it to be that tall. We want to keep the proportions, we want to be able to, uh, we want to, be able to read it. So it wasn't that tall to begin with, so we want to make sure it's a decent enough size so that it doesn't look blurred, pixelated, or hard to read. And that's, that's decent. That's quite, that's easy on the eyes, it's easy to read, uh, and that's quite, it hasn't pushed the website out either. So I'm gonna save that. Quickly check it on the preview page. F11 has pushed it down a little bit, so I may have to move this up a little bit more, which is fine. And this is why it's so important that we do make these checks. Push this up a little bit more. Click away, save. I'm gonna come back here and just refresh this page here because it's still open. F11, still not quite there yet, but I can afford to push this up a little bit more. Notice how much sharper it looks and uh, easier on the eyes the more I do this. So I drag it up a little bit at a time, save, come back here and refresh, F11. There you go, perfect. Now I've got this space here, uh, should I need to use it for the next task. And that's the fly task done.